Hey, how you doing? Well, today's video, we're going to talk about checking your bike for oil leaks. Now, it sounds pretty simple, pretty basic, right? Yeah, and no. So, let's get this thing uncovered, and we'll get into it. Okay, we've got the cover off, so let's talk about this, okay? Checking your bike for oil leaks. Could be pretty simple, could be not quite so simple. Just depends really how anal you are about oil leaks. Generally speaking, you're gonna look at the bike, you're gonna check around, uh, everything looks pretty dry, it's not leaving puddles, right? Yeah, check around this side, yeah, everything's pretty good not leaving puddles so yeah we're good to go yeah that could be the fact and you don't need to worry about it when you probably do want to worry about it is if you've still got warranty on your bike so whether it's new and you've just got the standard two years or maybe you have extended warranty like i had okay this is a 2009 road king when I bought it, it had about 60,000 miles on it, and I paid $1,400 and got extended warranty, which gave me basically bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty for a year. Uh, tires not covered, brake pads not covered, the usual stuff. But basically everything else, bumper-to-bumper, -bumper, was covered under warranty, okay? So now the warranty is gonna expire. So whether you've got a two-year warranty or extended like I had, and the warranty is just about to expire, you want to get it checked out really well. Make sure there's nothing wrong with it. And if there is something, you can get it fixed for free, right? So that happened to me. My bike was in at Trev Dealey, Harley Davidson in Vancouver, British Columbia. Was in there for accident repair, and while it was there, I felt the warranty was probably going to expire before I got the bike back. So I said, listen, do a full inspection, check it out really close, okay? We talked about this on an earlier video. Anyway, they checked it and they give you this checklist and they check everything off. And they have a little box that says oil leaks and he checked off the green. Good, no oil leaks. Well, that's great. I mean, he's a master Harley technician. So he says there's no oil leaks. There's no oil leaks. No. Don't trust anybody. Check it yourself before the warranty expires. I'll show you what to look for. Okay, so the first thing you want to look for is, like I said earlier, just have a general look around. Make sure that you don't see any oil coming down. It's a good thing to clean up your bike really well beforehand. So... Do it when the engine's a little bit warm and wash it up really well. One area you really want to check, okay, this is a twin cam, and you want to have a look down in there, okay? Especially down in there, in between the primary and the transmission and the engine. There's a space down there. Now, you can check it either with a mirror or there's a couple ways, and we'll talk about that. Chances are, down in there, you don't, get, you don't get it washed very well. So get yourself a can of brake cleaner and spray the shit out of it down in that spot especially. Any way you can get at it. Back in through here, there's some spaces. You can spray the shit out of it underneath as best as you can. But there is a skid plate under there. Not sure if you can see it. So it's really hard to get all up in there. But do the best you can. Spray the shit out of it with brake clean. Brake clean will take all the grease, oil off. It dries really quick. And it basically gives you that. So if I can get the flashlight here a little bit, you can rub your finger there. I mean, it's dry. It's dry and clean, 
okay? So do that, it dries really fast, like I said, okay? So now you've got it all pretty clean under there. Go out for a ride, half hour, 30 minutes, whatever, get some miles on it, okay? Come back, park it, okay? Now you gotta check it out. Now this is, this is old stuff, okay? That's from being parked in different spots. I had the bike checked out, like I said, by the master Harley Tech at Trev Dealey, Harley Davidson, Vancouver. He said, no oil leaks. The day after I got the bike back, it was leaving puddles about the size of a quarter, okay? Not a huge deal. I mean, yeah, it's leaking oil. Probably before the primary or the transmission ever gets low from that bit of a spot, you're going to be changing the oil out anyway. But it's still an oil leak that could be fixed under warranty. Okay, so I had to check it. Easiest way, when you look down in here, okay, right down there, you've got the shifter shaft going into the transmission. There's a seal there. Quite often, that'll start to leak, okay? You've also got the seals on your primary and where your belt, and let's see if we can see this a bit better, okay? You've got your belt guard here and right there, you can see your belt. Now, if you reach back in there with your finger, that's where your belt hooks on to the main drive coming out of your primary, okay? Your clutch and everything's in here. It goes out of the primary, so there's a seal for the primary, and it goes into the transmission, okay? So, again, as best as you can, try and get this flashlight, a little flashlight set up, so maybe you'll see something. Yeah, not enough hands, man. Not enough hands. Okay, that's not bad. You can reach way back in here, and you can feel that on the flat back part of the primary, then all of a sudden there's a little bit of a, like there's a lip, sort of. And anyway, feel back in there as best as you can, and run your finger along there. Now you've been out for a ride. Bring your finger out. Oh, look. Yeah. Okay. It's not dripping on the ground, but we've got oily black goop in there. That means your primary seal is leaking. Okay. Again, if it's not under warranty, that's not a big deal. I mean, you can drive for a long time and is not going to do any harm. So, eventually, it'll start leaving little puddles, like mine does. And then, eventually, could take, like, forever. I mean, right now, it's a Harley. It's marking its spot. Haha. <laughs> right? But, if it's under warranty, you get that repaired. Okay? Now, the mechanic checked my bike. A master... Harley Tech at Trev Dealey, Harley Davidson in Vancouver. And he said, no oil leaks. What the fuck is that? Sorry for my language. I apologize. What is that? That's an oil leak. This could have been repaired under warranty had he checked it. Okay? So... That's what you got to need to look for. You got to check it thoroughly yourself.
Don't trust anybody else. Check it yourself. I had another Harley tech from a private shop. Check it. And he did exactly what I did. Now, this is after the warranties expired, and so I was shit out of luck. He did exactly what I did. He stuck his finger in there and came out. He said, man, this has been leaking for a long time. Okay? When I sent Trev Dealey, Harley Davidson, in Vancouver, British Columbia, a long email complaining that their mechanic hadn't checked it properly... After a month, I didn't hear back from them. So I sent another email. I sent the same email again. Then two weeks later, so now we're six weeks after the original email, their manager called me. And I told him, I said, your mechanic didn't do a proper job. He didn't check for oil leaks. He says, oh, he, he's a master. He's a master Harley technician. And I said, well, like, you know, he didn't do his job. You know what he said to me? He said, I find it. Very hard to believe. Now, I'm not sure, did he say very hardly believe or very unlikely? But anyway, it means the same thing. I find it very hard to believe that the bike was sitting here for six and a half months and didn't leave any puddles. And then the day after you get it, it's leaving puddles. What are you trying to say? I said to him, so... You're saying that I'm full of shit? He says, oh, no, I wouldn't say that. I said, okay, so tell me step by step, how do you check for oil leaks? Do you just check for puddles on the ground? He said, oh, no. I said, okay, tell me step by step, how does your mechanic, what's Harley's policy on checking for oil leaks? Oh, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're saying that, now we have to make a choice here. On that day, either your mechanic didn't do his proper job, or I'm full of shit. Which one is it? Oh, I couldn't comment either way. <sighs> okay. Anyway, don't trust anybody. Okay, if you've got warranty on your bike and it's about to expire, check it yourself. And when your finger comes out dirty like that, say, hey, I've got an oil leak. Fix it. It's under warranty. Okay. Obviously, I'm not going back there to get any service done if I need to. I'd, I'll be fixing this leak myself. It's going to be a pain in the ass. I have to rip primary, take the clutch out, compensator, all that. I'll be fixing this myself. Um, but if I wasn't able to fix it myself and I wanted to get this fixed, now with that little spot on the ground, it might it might take forever to get worse. Who, who knows? So it just depends, you know, how you are, how much you really care, if it leaves a little mark or not. But if I had get to get them to fix it, it would probably cost me like six, $700 to get this problem fixed, which should have been covered under warranty and would have been covered under warranty. Uh, if I do need to get a mechanic to do work on it, I'm going to go to a little shop. He's in Burnaby, British Columbia called Black and Gold Motorcycles. Okay. The owner is a Harley trained technician. He's an awesome guy. So shout out to those guys. If I do need a mechanic's help to repair my bike in the future, it's going to go there. Not only are they cheaper by the hour, but he's competent. Okay? So, anyway, check it yourself. Don't trust anybody else. Again, if it's not under warranty and it's doing this, it's probably not that big of a deal. I mean, just depends, again, how anal you are about oil leaks, you know. A little bit of oil coming out. It's probably not going to hurt anything. Um, do it yourself. Talk to you later.